Hi guys, and welcome back to another Ibracorp video. Thanks for tuning in with us today. Hope you've had a good Easter and a good weekend. So we were looking at showing you Qubit Torrent. If you're currently using Deluge or another torrent provider, I'm going to show you Qubit Torrent, which is pretty similar, as well as the version with the View Torrent UI, which looks really, really nice, and it's very responsive on mobile as well, almost pretty much an app actually which I found to be quite useful when trying to manage your downloads and torrents or anything of that nature of P2P file sharing. Qubit Torrent seems to be very, very nice to use, but with the View Torrent UI on top, it's amazing. So we'll go through that real quick and uh, we hope you enjoy the video. Please remember to like and subscribe. We really appreciate your support. Before we get started in today's video guys, I just want to remind you about our website that we have that accompanies our YouTube channel. With the website, you'll get news and latest posts directly to your inbox, completely free of charge. And if you want to help support the channel or support me personally, this is the best place you can do it. You have the option to sign up to a membership completely either free or with our yearly and monthly plans, as well as donate via PayPal if you prefer. Using this option, it allows you to get the post directly to your inbox, it allows you to get them before it hits on YouTube, and just allows us to give back to you a lot quicker. If you're interested, head over to our website, ibracorp.io, and sign up free of charge. Thank you. Alright guys, so Qubit Torrent. Pretty straightforward, if you're already running a torrent sort of software, you know what it's all about. It helps allow you to download your P2P files, whether it's from a friend or home or anywhere else that you are doing it, as long as you're doing it legally. We've got Qubit Torrent up on here. It's pretty straightforward. Feel free to pause that and have a read through, but we want to keep this brief for people. The real seller here is the View Torrent UI. Here's the View Torrent UI made by WDAN. Big thanks for their work on this. It's updated regularly, which is amazing. Here you go, nine days ago, for example. And it runs really, really smooth. If you're a user of any sort of torrent program, first thing that comes to mind is that old clunky user interface that quite honestly just looks, you know, fill in the blank. So this allows us to have a nice interface while also keeping all the functionality that we need. Here's a couple of pictures as well. For those that wanted to know, there is a dark mode, which is amazing, and a light mode as well. So let's have a look now. So we're gonna basically install this one here because I think it's gonna be the most familiar for people that are currently using the Deluge setup. And honestly, I was just using it up until the other day. So let's start with that from bin hex. Click to install. From the top, network type, let's that to our custom Docker network, which I covered in our Docker tips and tricks video. All these ports are pretty straightforward. We don't need to change them. 8080 I will change actually. Very busy port that one. So we'll change it to 8585. Everything else is good. Some of these are what you will point some of your apps to for Privoxy or for your VPNs. So I'll leave those as they are unless you have them in use already. For me today on this test server, we aren't using the VPN. So I'm just gonna go ahead and say no here. Change that to no. If you do wanna use a VPN like private internet access or anything like that, there's your options. Set that to yes and fill out your details. But in our case, we're not gonna use that today on our test server. You can leave strict port forwarding, you can leave Provoxy. Uh, if you want to enable Provoxy, you can do that. That's, there's no harm in doing that, so you can set that to yes. But for the purpose of this video, we're just gonna leave this as no. Layer network, pretty straightforward. Make sure that matches your setup at home. Name servers, we don't need to change unless you want to. There's all the VPN settings, etc., etc. So we don't really need to change anything here. All of that, all of that looks pretty good to me. So once you're happy with all that, hit apply, and we'll just wait for that to install. Okay, that's finished installing. We'll click done, and head to our Docker tab. So you can see we're now running. It looks like it's running okay. We'll click that to auto start. So it's worth noting here, guys. If we go, just go back into the config for Qubit Torrent. See the data folder here, which is being mapped, going to the app data folder. What you really want to do is set that to your download share. So if we go back to our shares here, we'll see downloads. If you haven't created the share, just go ahead and create the share and you'll have downloads. So that way all your downloads are stored in a separate share and easier to manage. Once you've done that, go ahead and click apply again, click done. 
and then we'll go ahead and open it and we're going to see this unauthorized so i'll show you how to fix that now so we've installed crusader now we'll left click and go to the web ui give that a second and you'll see that now we've loaded up and everything seems to be fine so we've mapped directly to the user folder in our container template so in that case you just go down to the next level in our case that's media under media then got your app data folder as well so we'll go to app data we'll go to qubit torrent go to qubit torrent again in the config folder then got the qubit torrent conf file the first thing you need to do is just go back to docker and we'll make sure we stop the container for qubit torrent before we make any changes here head back to crusader click refresh you've then got two options hitting f3 will open a read only screen to allow you to read the document hitting f4 will allow you to edit the document directly now if you wanted to you could edit this on your host machine but you would have to change the permissions sometimes permissions get in the way so you can do that here as well in our case we're just going to edit it in the actual crusader ui so just at the very bottom here type in web ui make sure you match the uppercase and lowercase here as well click save close then start up the container again now we'll try and access it again left click and go to the ui and there we go now you can log in with the default username and password admin password is admin admin once you signed in you'll be faced with a pretty familiar looking torrent application so all we need to do now basically is get our view torrent so to do that we'll go to the view torrent on the github page wdan slash view torrent is where you'll find the view torrent ui to download on the right hand side here you've got releases so we'll just click on releases and download the zip now left click on that now i've already downloaded it so i'm just going to close out of this i'll show you the next step so the next step is you'll need to go to where the download is so here we are i'm in the my file explorer here's our download or view torrent so we'll just ctrl c and click and save that then we'll go to our server so here we are in the server now and we've got our download share here so if we go to downloads we just go to new create a folder and call it theme paste the zip in there once you've pasted it we'll need to actually open it up so go ahead and open that up so now with that we've extracted it go in you'll notice it's actually created a subfolder we don't really want a subfolder so what we'll do is go take everything out of the subfolder and put it into the top level folder remove this subfolder here so you should be left with your downloads theme view torrent public etc that's where everything is saved in there now so now we can go back to our qubit torrent now before we apply the ui there's a couple of things i recommend you change first the default save path so we've got qubit torrent downloads does that match what you've got set up that's up to you now if you remember that it's got slash config there now if we go back to qubit torrent that this container slash data is actually where our downloads are if i expand this slash config is where we've got our up data being saved so what we really want is this to be slash data and downloads can be anything basically under that so if you wanted it to be downloads in our case usually i have complete and then keep incomplete is basically the same get rid of all this and we'll just say incomplete so data again got it here slash data basically replaces this entire path it means got data complete it'll create a complete folder under our download share and an incomplete folder in our download share as well that looks good and once you're happy with that you can go ahead and click save go back into the settings again go to connection change all the connection settings that you like as well your speed settings, your bit torrent, and your ratios, etc. Make sure you change them to whatever you prefer. RSS again, and then we get to our UI. So the first thing we'll need to do is change our password. Remember, our username and password is just the default stuff. So make sure we change it to something a little more secure. Typing in a password there. You can also tell it to bypass uh, for local host if you're signing in as local host. Then we want to apply our new UI. So to do that, click this box, use alternative UI, and we're going to map the data folder again. In here, type in theme. And the reason we're doing that is if we go back to our folder, you've got to remember that downloads is mapped to data. I'm going to keep swapping between data and data because somebody 
had an issue with it last time so i'm just going to keep swapping around just to make it a little bit more tricky for you we've got downloads theme double click the theme then you've got view torrent so then the next setting is torrent so make sure we map torrent in there as well so forward slash torrent once you're happy with all that you can go ahead and click save if there's any other settings that you want to change this is the best place to do it now because some of the ui will change and it might be harder to find certain things so go ahead and click save now the first thing you'll notice is it's straight away taken us and applied the new ui we'll make sure we sign out we'll just log out here and here's your login page so let's log in with our new details and we've successfully logged in everything looks good We'll switch it to dark mode. Welcome, this is your new Torrent application. So straight off the bat, it looks a lot cleaner. I think it looks a lot nicer. If you go into the settings, you'll notice a lot of the settings are modified as well. See, it looks a lot different. And if at any point you felt like you needed to switch back to the uh, old UI, just uncheck this box and click save. That will pretty much do it for you. Now that we've set up Qubit Torrent, we set up View Torrent for our user interface. We now to need to add it to our media management tools. So this will be the same for sonar and LiDAR, but we're just going to do it for radar here today. So to download clients, we'll just click on that. Click the plus. We'll see Qubit Torrent right here. Click that. Pull this view torrent. IP address of your server where Qubit Torrent is running. Port, which is running username and password category now that's something we didn't end up setting up actually so we'll go back to view torrent click settings tags and categories available categories just click create new and we'll call one radar and another one sonar save again and we'll quickly head back and we'll see category matches what we've just created so that's fine got all those settings we're happy with we'll click test now that's actually connecting to my live one i'll just change this to our new one that we just created and that's tested good so click save and that technically should now work so if we go ahead and set that up we'll try and add a, add a movie that looks good click add movie Head back to view torrent and there you go it's added it directly in for us the rest is managed by the settings in radar which they aren't actually configured all the way in this test server so all we've tested at the moment is that it downloads and it puts it in the correct folder and then radar should take care of the rest for us if it was configured correctly but in terms of a torrent application that's pretty much done now the most Impressive part of this is loading it on your mobile phone. So after you reverse proxy this, you don't know how to reverse proxy. We've covered it in a few of our videos already. But after you reverse proxy and you access it from your phone, it's actually so easy to use and easy to monitor anything that's downloading. So highly, highly recommend Qubit Torrent. I think it's a lot cleaner than Deluge and it's been working really well for me so far. And I mean, just having a dark mode is obviously an advantage already. But being very responsive on the phone, once you access the page, it will prompt you if you want to add it to your home screen. And then it almost pretty much acts like an app. So that makes management even easier again. It also works hand in hand with Organizer. If you watched our Organizer video, you can integrate so that your home page shows your Ubit Torrent queue as well. Definitely worth checking out, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you have any tips or suggestions for future videos, leave them in the comments below. Let us know what you think. More than happy to pick up some of your suggestions. And until next time, we'll see you in the next Ibricorp video.